Now in Chicago, where a 21-month-old child was just shot on the street last month, Mayor Lori Lightfoot has decided that not all guns need to be removed from the streets. No, just the ones that you own. According to Lori Lightfoot, the real danger is not handguns. It's, quote, military-grade weapons from other states. Tuesday, little Caden Swan was shot on Lakeshore Drive. 18 others were shot. Five of them died. Wednesday, Mayor Lori Lightfoot said part of the crime issue is gun control. If you can go over the border in Indiana and literally buy military grade weapons with any, at any quantity. CPD numbers show that crime is up. Around this time last year, there were 521 people shot. Now that number is 743. This is, this is one of those topics that's hard to do on TV because in about an hour, you can learn more about this topic, actual facts about this topic, than every single person making the policy. Everything they say is untrue and provably so. There's no issue on which they lie more than this one, which tells you a lot. Lori Lightfoot's statement, the one you just saw, is a shocking lie. And Chicago's own data prove it. Most violent crimes in Illinois were committed with guns purchased in the state. According to Chicago police from 2018 to 2019, authorities encountered a grand total of how many people armed with military grade rifles or all rifles? Four. Four people in the whole city in a year with rifles. That's it. And that's what Lori Lightfoot is focused on. In that same period, they encountered 44 people armed with revolvers. They encountered 15 people armed with chemical weapons, whatever that is, and there were 32 people wielding their feet in a violent manner. And the rest, of course, were semi-automatic handguns. That's what all the murders are committed with. And everyone knows it. Rifles are not a real threat in Chicago, and they haven't been for a long time, if ever. Between 2013 and 2016, just 4.8% of guns recovered by the Chicago police were rifles. 4.8%. The most recent murder report from Chicago is from all the way back in 2011. They're a little slow on the numbers there. But according to that report, just one rifle was used in a homicide in the city of Chicago. One. And that's what they want to take away. Why? Because you own it, not the criminals. In the decade that followed, a George Soros-funded DA called Kim Fox took over in Chicago. And during her tenure, prosecutors started dropping cases for serious gun, gun crimes. Not accidentally, but as a matter of policy. They intentionally dropped gun crimes. Aggravated battery with a firearm, unlawful use of a weapon, reckless discharge with a firearm, aggravated discharge. Serious crimes involving guns. They dropped the charges. They're not worried about gun crime. They're worried about you protecting yourself. And not just in Chicago, across the country. Criminals who commit violence with guns are going free. Murder rates are hitting record levels. Meanwhile, you haven't hurt anyone. You haven't done anything wrong. But suddenly, Hunter Biden has a fat book contract from Simon & Schuster, and you're a felon for trying to defend your home. You can see what's going on here. Again, they're not trying to control guns. They're trying to control you.